hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use analytics here in salesforce let's begin the salesforce analytics also known as salesforce reports and dashboards and tableau crm formerly known as einstein analytics is a powerful tool for analyzing and visualizing data stored in Salesforce. It helps users understand business performance through real-time insights, data visualization, and predictive analytics. Once you are logged into your account, this is one of the best ways for us to understand and effectively utilize the analytics number one is going to the salesforce reports and dashboards for you to be able to do that i want you to click on the app launcher it's grayed out but if you hover your mouse they will become circular colorful buttons beside setup here all i have to do is type in dashboards and you would be forwarded on this tab right here you see dashboards and reports so for us to be able to uh, visualize and display the data from the uh, rip, uh, dashboard for now, I'm going to create a new dashboard from scratch. We're in here. I'm going to name it as something like this one. Description is this. Now, you can select the folder if you wanted. Private dashboards and a lot more. But for now, this is uh, going to be my, my go-to option. Now, on the dashboard, you can create a widget. For example, if you click the plus button, you can add chart or table. For example, um, this public reports. Click that. Click on select. All right. You can display as... Say, for example, a uh, percentage, like a graph. So you have all of these, right? I'm going to choose this one for now and click on add. All right. Now, here on the dashboard filter, you see, it will allow users to view data based on different criteria. And of course, you can add a filter if you wanted. For example, you can put in like office add a filter value right here if you want equals not equals to apply and click on add all right so these are going to be some of the ways for you to customize the way you want the data to be analyzed here on your dashboard if you wanted you can add another widget say for example an image i'm going to browse an image here once the image has been added you can put in original maybe fit width or fit, uh, fit height you have the alignment for horizontal vertical and a lot more you can add hover text or describe this image okay i'm going to add it this way right here if you want to add another widget like a semi text you can do that as well for example this so you can be creative when creating the dashboard because it's part of the analytics right you can create a dashboard that's creative and of course you're not limited with the uh, options here you can put in different text or line you can put in as big as you can go for that click on add and the text you can drag it here matter of fact if you want to edit that it, the, the font is too big going to uh, make it like all around like 42 there you go you can drag this and you can customize the way your dashboard would look like you are not limited if you want to add another uh, chart or table for example uh, private reports or maybe public reports click this select click that i'm going to use something like this one all right how about this one okay so click on add it will be added here you can drag this up now for you to be able to save that all you're going to do is click on save there's a drop down here wherein you can delete if you want 
and click on done so basically this is how you create a dashboard here in salesforce but don't worry because in the report section we're going to go to all reports and we're going to create a report now you can choose the type of report that you wanted like objects you want to analyze accounts and opportunities and a lot more start a report all right so you can have all of these click on save all right click on save for now click on save basically that's how we build report here which is part of the analytics here in the uh salesforce another option is i want you to go to the upper right corner where you can see the gear icon click on it and we're going to add another user click on type in object all right click on object object manager say for example we're going towards the account that's going to be filled in our relationships if you wanted to add a new field here for example we're going to add okay so on the uh, quick find i'm sorry i need you to type in einstein instead okay so click that now if you do that you would be forwarded here to the einstein activity capture this is one of the analytics tool which is the very best all right in the in terms of the products at no additional cost all i have to do is click on this option right here that says try uh, next click on the uh, your account here google suite microsoft 365 or microsoft exchange of course you need to choose how users connect their accounts is it going to be user level or get it from the google workspace marketplace click on this one here i'm gonna type in this i'm gonna click on next so these are going to be some of the options for you to sync settings and that way you can track analytics in a more controlled way all right just click on next all right so these and that and from here you can use the uh, salesforce reporting tools that can gain valuable insights into your business operations allowing you to make data-driven decisions and improve efficiency once you're happy with that all i have to do is click on next and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one